Hello, this is Dr. J, back with some more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. Here we are in the Dark World, and this time, because we have the Moon Pearl, we have kept our human form and not turned into a pink bunny rabbit, which was very embarrassing. I really like the atmosphere of the background here, with the sun blazing behind that building. I wonder what that building is. It's so mysterious. I wish that you could go off into the horizon and explore it and see what it is. And the ominous red-purple sky. And here we are on top of some kind of evil pyramid with... I don't know if this is representation of Ganon or what, but... It's some kind of evil statuary. It's all very cool. The music is, to me, strangely upbeat and heroic. I feel like it should be more dark and ominous and pondering. So I don't entirely agree with the the theme of the music here in the Dark World. I think I mentioned that I kind of prefer the theme that you get when you enter the Dark World without the Moon Pearl. It's, that music is very ominous. If they had made that theme longer, I actually think that would have made a better main Dark World Overland theme. Oh, okay. We need the big bomb for that, I guess. And we have no way of getting at that hole there yet. So let's check our map. So in this evil reflection of Hyrule, Hyrule Castle has been replaced by this big evil pyramid. And there are seven maidens to rescue, which means we have a whole lot of dungeons still to go. We have only just gotten started on our adventure. And our first destination is marked to the east of us where the sort of wasteland, deserty area of the Eastern Palace has been replaced with some kind of brush labyrinth of thorny brambles. Ominous stuff. Oh, and here are the Hinoxes. Or Hinoxes. I'm going to say Hinox because I think it sounds cooler. It might take a while to kill them with the sword beams. All right, well, we don't have the sword beam anymore anyway. They like to chuck bombs at us. And then there's these things whose name I don't remember. Spear chucking moblins. All kinds of enemies. Alright, now that we've taken care of the riffraff, we can lift these huge rocks in peace and see if there's anything underneath them. There isn't. The trees are purple for some reason. So I always thought it was really cool that... Uh, the Dark World was originally, you know, some kind of paradisical, Edenic kind of place until Ganon's evil heart turned it into this, the Dark World. I just think that's a cool bit of backstory. Now it is this land of darkness, inhabited by evil creatures, servants of the evil Ganon. Once again, I don't remember what these things are called. They remind me a little bit of mobile Deku Babas. Oh, there's some more creepy statuary. Kind of demonic looking. Huh. And a pretty obvious arrow in the ground. The trees are gold colored here. Now remember there's an annoying monkey here that you have to pay in order to enter the dungeon, but I think we have more than enough money. Maybe I should do the obvious thing and enter the location where that arrow is pointing. Yoink. Alright, I remember this gimmick where there's semi-invisible mazes that you have to navigate within the brush. Hmm. This doesn't seem to be getting... Ah, there we go. And there, there's a quasi-demonic-looking gorilla statue. 
which is quite strange. I don't even know what that arrow is pointing toward. Die evil bush plant thing. I'm also just exploring for secrets, not necessarily trying to beeline straight for the dungeon. So that's why I'm kind of wandering around a bit. Hmm. Oh, there's where the monkey accompanies us. I'm Kiki the monkey, Kiki. I love rupees more than anything. Can you spare me 10 rupees? Fine. Kiki, Kiki, good choice. I will accompany you for a while. Kiki, Kiki. Monkeys are so irritating. In real life and in fiction. Get wrecked, Moblin. What, is a, what use does a monkey have for rupees anyway? Shouldn't you want some kind of food? Bananas or something? Alright, and here is where he's going to demand more money in order to get us into the dungeon. Kikiki! If you give me 100 rupees, I will open the entrance for you. Kikiki! All right, ask him to open it. Kiki, good choice. Then I get 100 of your rupees. Kiki, Kiki. And then we go to the gorilla dungeon. Hmm. This looks awfully familiar. This looks much like the entrance to the Eastern Palace, which makes sense. It's in the same location as the Eastern Palace. Of course, the color is different. An ominous gray. And then immediately from the second room, it starts looking quite different. The pots have been replaced by skulls. Now, I remember the light world dungeons better than the dark world dungeons. So there is definitely a chance of me getting lost and not really knowing what I'm doing in these. Just as a warning. All right, small key. Small key. -a. Also, I had seemed to recall that the Dark World dungeon music was different, but this is the same music, isn't it? Was my memory wrong? Could be, could be. Maybe it was just the overworld themes that I was thinking of. Oh ho, this is interesting. Where will that teleporter take us? Ah! Bubbles! Aha! Bombable wall and a teleport or a telepathy stone. Link, can you hear me? It's me, Zelda. I'm locked in Turtle Rock on top of Death Mountain. I know you're doing your best, but please hurry. Even when she's pleading for me to come save her life, she's still got to be so polite about it. I know you're busy and everything, but please, it's really, really uncomfortable here. <laughs> Get wrecked, Baris. These guys, who... are these called Gorias? They're very different from Gorias in the original Legend of Zelda, if that is indeed what they're called. Okay. Missed. Dang, that's tough to pull off. Okay, our shield doesn't block that either. Oh, okay, and that doesn't hurt him. How about a skull? Okay, skull doesn't hurt him. 
Oh, I'm being silly. What I need to do is fire and then lure him into it. Okay. Easier said than done. All right. All right, finally. I made more of a meal of that than it really needed to be. Hmm. Can I bomb the floor there? It looks awfully bombable. I thought so. <laughs> okay, that is a complete trap then. You can, but all it does is hurt you. It doesn't drop down to anything. Ah, uh, snap. I don't have my, uh, my sword beam. I wonder if the ice rod hurts Baris. It does. Excellent. Uh, I hate conveyor belts. And the red Baris, of course, turn into multiples. The little ones are hard to hit. Their hitbox is basically non-existent. <coughs> ah, pausing while I get a drink of water. Don't know why I've been so parched while recording lately. Alright, let's just uh, arrow these guys. And skull them. Get skulled. Skulled! Arrowed. So are we going to be getting the hammer in this dungeon then? I'm guessing we might since we've got the obnoxious, smiling, laughing face things. I'm sure I have a name that I don't remember. Okay. So can we go west from here then? Yeah. Map seems to think we can. All right. And east. Let's go east first, because that's just a dead-end room. Fairies! Aha! Now I have a net. Oops. Hit the right button, genius. You caught a fairy. Keep it in a bottle. They're surprisingly okay with being kept in a bottle, considering that when they come out they just heal you instead of, like, stabbing you in the face. Which works out well for me. Got a small Kia. Oh, the Bari's respawned. I'm not gonna deal with you guys again. Although it should be easier now that I have my sword beam. There we go. Anything off this room? No. Looks like we have to drop down to get to that room that's one sector north and west. Because it doesn't look like it's connected on this level. Okay. And now back upstairs. Hopefully we've done everything we can do on the basement level, except for that one disconnected room. And now we've got a small key. Two of them, in fact. One to pass through this door. Okay, we're definitely going to get the hammer, because you need the hammer to deal with those turtle guys. Ah, we can probably bomb this and drop down, right? Maybe to that uh, otherwise inaccessible room. Yeah. I may not remember quite a bit of this game, but I can still figure out its tricks. Ooh, we got the big Kia. 
Very nice. And do we want to drop down here? Looks like we do. Oh no, not Stelphos. Ah, and they're head detaching Stelphos at that. Get off me! Got a small Kia. Okay, so I guess we needed the small key, but otherwise there wasn't much to that room. Let's try crossing over this time. Aha! So that arrow, can I jump off of it? Yeah, okay, cool. Oh man, this this is awful. This is the worst. I knew that was going to happen. Um, Let's deal with them over here, shall we? At least it shouldn't take quite as many of a ridiculous number of hits to kill the red one. Though even with the Master Sword, it takes quite a few. Color switcher. There we go. And which way do we want to go from here? Aha, so we can hit the color switcher there. But do. Okay, so we're going to have to push a statue onto that. Which way do we want to go first? I guess let's try this way first. Uh, more of these guys. Arrowed! Arrowed! And... Arrowed. Alright. Getting the hang of them. Those are really creepy enemies. They just, they look creepy. The way they just mindlessly mimic your movements. Hmm, you look like you need a shot in the eyeball. Dungeons really are so much more engaging when they're dynamic like this and have a lot of interactive elements. Rather than when it's just a static map with nothing going on except monsters to fight. This really is kind of the gold standard of dungeon design in my mind. Okay, we're going to need the hammer to do anything here. So we'll have to come back to that. Let's try to remember that. Once we have the hammer, come back to the northeast. Ah, oh, forgot about you. Alright, so we're going to need to smack this. But then we're blocked from going to the north. Can we throw a bomb fast enough to do this? Well, not like that. Also, that bomb appeared to have dropped into the abyss. Okay, it worked. I'm not going to let you knock me into the abyss. You weird bumper tentacle thing. All right, that's our last small key. This looks like it's gonna, yeah, I kind of figured it would do that. Had that look to it. 
Oh no! Okay, whew. We're gonna need another small key to go there to the west. Whole bunch of turtle guys. Ow. I want that chest, you punks. We get the compass. Okay, we need another small key. Two different ways we can go down. Dungeon's definitely a step up in complexity once you reach the um, dark world. Okay, there's one of the small keys we need. But I'm too greedy, I cannot resist the allure of so many rupees. Also, I want to light this brazier. Another chest. Arrows. Could have been more exciting. So many rupees. I am not good at dodging those guys. Not at all. Back upstairs. Okay. So those just lead to exactly the same place. We can go south from here. We can go west. We don't have the dungeon item yet. But we do have a small key that we need to go through this. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. So much dry mouth while I've been recording. Don't know why. Drinking plenty of water. That looks like it's just going to make me lose a heart when I go through it. So, Or if I drop down there, I mean. And I'm low on hearts, so I'm not going to fall for it. Oh, that just took me back the way I had already been. That was not helpful. Hmm. Maybe I actually do need to fall down that? That would just take me to the dungeon boss, though, even if it does go anywhere. Oh, boy. Hmm. Let's try looping around again, see if we missed anything in this northern area. Okay, there's the big... The big chest. We're gonna need a small key to get at that. I wasted my small key, didn't I? But I'm sure the game is not designed in a way to make it uncompletable, so... Did I miss anything down here? Seemed like it was just a rupee loop, basically, and I think we got one small key down here, which we them wasted. There's a teleporter leading to that. And then a big key leading to the boss chamber. Big key door, I mean. Where on earth is the hammer? Well, I mean, I know where it is. I just... Where's another small key so that I can access that? Okay. This probably just hurts me if I drop into it. Yeah, I figured. Alright. I think that if you can actually drop down instead of blackness, it shows a floor underneath. That seems to be pretty consistent. Hmm. This is going to be real annoying to deal with. Okay. And then run. Alright. That was fine. So. Where can we get another small key? Since we wasted the one. Interesting. Okay. Well. I'm not going to waste you viewers time with my. Derping around. Oh that was great. Yeah, I'm not going to waste you viewers' time, so I will rejoin you once I have figured out what it is I need to be doing in here. Okay, we're back, and after a bit of wandering around, I have a theory on what I need to do. So first I'm going to return to the entrance. And then... Go forward here. 
north that is. And then from here I want to go to the east. I don't think that I've taken this eastern path. Oh, the problem is, okay, if I push that block I can go this way. And hopefully this has a small key. It does. Okay, we are back in business. Good, good. And the colored blocks are already in the position I need them to be in. Okay, now. Boom. Okay, that was irritating. Not a big fan of how that developed. Why were there two of them? It's weird. Guess there were always two. Anyway, this should take us to the dungeon item, which should be the hammer. Because we clearly need the hammer to proceed. We've got more. I'm going to assume those are the link to the past version of Dodongos. Since they're lizards that breathe fire. Which is typically a Dodongo thing in the Zelda universe. Got another one of these dark maze rooms. Another small key. Alright, that looks like a bombable wall. At last! And it is indeed the hammer. We got the magic hammer. We can drive wooden stakes into the ground. And pound on other things too, like those annoying laughing faces. Let's equip the magic hammer and get ready to pound. Just like a man, we'll pound everything. We'll pound nails, we'll pound heads. Do, do, do. All right, so now we need to go back to the Northwest. Or not Northwest, Northeast. Ouch. All right, we can get these guys now. Okay, be careful. If they're upside down, you will knock them right side up again. Die, turtle scum. Okay. Let's see. I don't think that going down these stairs will get us anything. We want to do is go south, south, east, and then north, and then down. Oh. Oh, going east is going to be a problem. Irritating. Oh, super irritating. Not a fan of what just happened. I hate these guys. These are another relative low point of Link to the Past, the stupid bumper enemies. Especially the red ones. I don't mind the blue ones as much, but do the red ones need to have quite so much health? Do they really? Okay. It'll be great when I find the blue and red tunic if I ever do, because like most things, I don't remember where those are. But it'll be great to not take quite so much damage from everything. Though it does make the game more challenging, so there's that. In which case, I really should start playing more carefully. Alright, so it's going to be totally unnecessary to hammer those things down, because we can access this area anyway. Okay. We know how to deal with you guys. We've done it a couple times by now. Down the stairs. All right. 
memory was accurate. Irritating. Stay upside down, why don't you? Luckily, we had another small key on hand. Ah, oh, I didn't have the hammer equipped. Almost fooled me, game. Whoa! What am I supposed to do about this? It won't even let me use the hammer from inside the entrance. This is dumb! What am I supposed to do about this, game? Just take the hit? That's stupid. Down we go. Wow. They went bananas with these turtle enemies. Big fan of this enemy concept, I guess. Alright, let's light these braziers just to see if anything happens. Nope. Check the map. Alright, looks like this is the only new room. Which should take us to... Uh, the teleporter that leads to the uh, boss door. And it does indeed. Wah! Go away. Evil turtles be gone. Alright, we'll probably need the hammer to deal with the boss. I don't remember who the boss is. Okay, yeah, it's the Helmosaur. Ow. Huh. Hammer is not doing it as well as I thought it would. Will bombs be more effective? Wee fire breath. Bombs are annoying to use. Let's try the hammer some more. Okay, we're getting our butts kicked. Good thing we have fairies. The fight continues. Thank you, fairy. Finally, all right. We are not doing well, are we? Oh, come on. That was a that was a perfect hit. The heck. Fine. If you're going to be that picky, how about the ice rod? You seem like a fire enemy. Okay, the ice rod does nothing. Then how about the bow? Ouch. That tail does serious damage. Ah, he walked right into me. Alright, we've got one more fairy on tap. Now we have to fight properly. <sighs> one more hit. Alright, we win. Die, Helmosaur. Fun boss. Much better than Moldorm. Every boss is better than Moldorm. We get a hot container and a thing. A crystal thing. Link, because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you! This world used to be the Golden Land where the Triforce was hidden. But because Ganon, the boss of thieves... That's terrible wording. At least say King of Thieves, which sounds much cooler. 
but because Ganon, the King of Thieves, wished it, the world was transformed. I'm sure he's intending to conquer even our light world after building his power here. He is trying to open a larger gate between worlds near the castle using our powers. But the gate is not open completely yet. If we seven maidens come together, we can break the barrier around Ganon's hiding place. I will tell you where the other girls are held. I believe you will destroy Ganon. I will return to my original form at that time. Do you understand? More or less. May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. So I wonder which of these maidens is the granddaughter of the old man we encountered in the cave at Death Mountain. Alright, well, that is another dungeon complete. We check our map. Okay, there's dungeons marked all over the place, so we got a whole lot more maidens to save. Well, we'll get started with that next episode. Hopefully you'll join me for that, and I will see you then. Bye!